What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to. What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to make a few announcements. As you guys can see, I did kind of change the setup of the video. Instead of having this wall behind me, I decided to put it on the corner. So all you see is shoes and just these blinds and me. And I figured I would stay on the side just so like you guys can see more of the shoes and it just looks better. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this setup or if I should go back to the old way. Also, another announcement I have is that I do want to start something on the channel called Fan of the Week. And basically what that is to give a fan, a subscriber, the opportunity to have a shout out on the channel. Just for showing love to the videos and the channel overall. Basically, you got to do is subscribe to the channel like the videos, and leave a comment in the comment section. And also another announcement I wanted to make is that I am doing a raffle for the Jordan 1 Top 3s. As you guys see right here, every raffle ticket's a dollar each, and you guys can go ahead and purchase that down in the description down below. Well anyways, today we're talking about how to organize your sneakers. And as you can see behind me, I do have like, these sneaker boxes that have the pull-down list. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen them in other sneakerheads videos. And you can go ahead and purchase these at Michael, actually not Michael's anymore, they stopped selling them, but you could go purchase them at the container store. Which is like the only really store that you can like purchase them physically, but then you'd also have to get them online. You get them from the container store. So you can also get them from a website here called US Plastic Corporation, eBay, Amazon. There's a bunch of places. But mainly I get I got mine from the container store and I waited for them to go on sale, which was around Christmas time. Oh, was it Black Friday? No, it was Christmas time. And I was able to get 18 boxes for the price of Oh, my fault dog. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, God damn it, bro. <laughs> so as I was saying before my trifle got kicked, I got them from the container store for like 15% off, and then they have a discount when you buy a set of six. And that's the only store I know they have that from. I remember Michael's used to sell them. That's where a lot of people used to get them, but I think they stopped selling them. I went recently, like continuously, and I didn't see them on the shelves anymore. So, And the good thing about these boxes is that they do have ventilation holes on the bottom. I would show you guys, but then the whole stack will have to come down. And also... They have the drop front box lids, so you can actually grab your shoes instead of having to take the whole stack out that you guys see up here. And another thing is that these shoes do stack on top of each other, which is really good. It makes it easy for them to stack. It makes it easy for them to move and all that. And also, as you guys can see how I have my other boxes on top, you can put them there to save room instead of having them in your closet. Because that does take a lot of room, and you can just put save that room for clothes. Oh, by the way, I am a size 7.5, so a lot of my shoes do fit upright, especially even my Jordan 1s that you guys can see right here. I don't really have to like keep them sideways to see a lot of people have them. But if your shoe size is bigger than a size 8 or a 9, then I'm pretty sure your shoe won't fit vertically and it'd have to go sideways. And that's probably the only con about this sneaker box. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 5,000 by February 11th, which is Sneaker Con, Fort Lauderdale. Make sure you stay woke. Well. Our sneakers sign out. Peace.